This was a windy day on the patio in the spring of 2022, but conditions like these are exactly what you would find if you were up in the rocky plateaus of Minas Gerais in Brazil, where you would also find many, many of the Rapiculus lelias growing on rocky terrain. So what is it about the grass then? Well, after the moisture of the winter, grasses do grow, but they will eventually die back once the harsh, drier summer months hit the area. So, <laughs> when my Lelia Flava and Alvarenguenses first bloomed for us, I created a little scene so that you could get a feel as to what it would look like when the spring blooming Rapiculus Lelias bloom up in Minas Gerais. You can clearly discern the reason for their long spikes. In order for the pollinators to find them, they need to have their blooms up high more exposed and then hopefully despite their small size their color will attract a pollinator. Meanwhile summer blooming Rapiculus lelias have small short spikes because by the time they bloom the grasses are long gone no need for a long spike during their blooming season. Fast forward to spring of 2022 and while I did not recreate the scene because it was a little makeshift and made a huge mess on the patio even though I had a lot of fun preparing for that video we have ourselves a gaggle of Rapiculus lelias in bloom, two of which are first time bloomers and behold, Lelia Flava is back with a wonderful spike showcasing double the bloom count she had in 2022. I will bring you in closer to the blooms with stills because even though this was not as windy a day on the patio, keeping these blooms in focus with even just the slightest movement of air is near to impossible. The oddball out in this wonderfully cheerful little grouping is Lelia Harpophila, which is a winter blooming orchid, but as she has such long lasting blooms, there was no way I was going to exclude her from this video. She more than deserves her moment in the spotlight. But <laughs> just look at the color of the Lelia Guarense. I have to say that I feel a little guilty for suddenly being more enchanted by the striking orange contrast of the Guarense to what I thought was a striking orange of the Harpophila. But wow, the additional detail of the bloom, the stripes, then the different flares of orange. It is an insane combination of that part of the color wheel. As I do not know the longevity of these blooms, I was not going to wait for all the buds to open because I was eager to show you the colors on the patio that this grouping of Lelias are currently showing. In the past, I have featured a lot of white and creamy white Rapiculus Lelias that it would appear they all look the same. So the question, what is the attraction, could be a valid one. Hopefully, this visual answers that question. I am so, so happy they are doing well. While I could be disappointed that my soft pink Alvarenguenses is not in bloom for us at this point in time, again, that would be the second year she's not blooming when she should, well, as long as she's doing well, and she is, eventually we will see her again. Fingers crossed. <laughs> of course, the Harpophila still steals my heart because this orchid is a much needed pop of color when she comes into bloom during the darkest months of the year, and the white frilly detail of her lip always puts a smile on my face. So is that too much orange for you? <laughs> Before we have a look at another first time bloomer a little closer, I would appreciate it very much if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. The support goes a long way and thank you so, so much in advance. So before we see more orange <laughs> and a lot more blooms of the Lelia Kaltskiana, let's check out another first time bloomer, which is the Mantecari. This spike was supposed to feature four blooms. So it's not as if it is going into all that trouble of growing such a long spike to just produce two blooms. I had one bud blast and unfortunately lost another bud which had not blasted. It was just gone the same day as I saw that one had blasted. When the first bloom opened, I was charmed by the pink color and thought she looked remarkably similar to the Crispy Lavia, who was a first time bloomer earlier in the season. If it wasn't for the super long spike and other features of the structures of the orchid, I would have thought I had doubles. But a couple of days later, her colors just deepened into this rich pink, isn't she? A cutie. I do have some spotting on some blooms on a regular basis and I have not figured out why they do that, what happens to cause some of these little imperfections. Still, it does not take away from how wonderful they are. How about a pop of yellow? Anyone? How about these blooms of the Lelia Flava? 
stunning, just stunning. The images show different representations of yellow depending on what the camera can pick up at different times of the day. The true color of the blooms is a canary yellow, <laughs> and a lot of it when you have eight blooms on a spike. <laughs> but only upon closer inspection are the details of some stripes visible on the petals and sepals. I get so quickly distracted though by the frilly lip yet again. There's something about Rapiculus Lelia lips that I am always enchanted with. They are so small but there is so much detail in them and it is hard not to see how magical they look. So despite trying to focus on what's happening with the petals and sepals, my eyes always go back to that frilly lip. As this one did not bloom for us in 2023, even though she grew her two new growths as expected, it is so satisfying to have her back in bloom. Not a first time bloomer, but so welcome back on the patio is my Lelia Kautskiana, which was a gift from Anonymous. Last year she bloomed for the first time well into the summer though, which made me think that this orchid may just be capable of blooming two times within a 12 month period. But this growth, while it matured quickly, it took its time to grow its spike and bloom as per its normal season. And these blooms just love the camera. I do not have to wait to get money shot after money shot after money shot. The way the orange blends into a scarlet red and then shifts into hues of the slightest blush of pink is just breathtaking. With this orchid, I think I'm going to need a separate hard drive for the amount of footage I have just from this orchid. Every time I look at the blooms, I think I have to capture this. I don't have it looking like this in any images, but it turns out that I have a shot that actually did already capture whatever caught my eye on another day. <laughs> it just so happens that this orchid has been in front of the camera so often, so many times, that I actually did already capture whatever caught my eye on another day. It's incredibly beautiful. While none of these orchids are fragrant, I cannot get enough of them and eventually hope to be able to collect every single species and primary hybrid that I can find. But I'm going to leave you with a teaser for what could possibly happen on the patio at a later stage and that is my Lelia crispata, as per the label. She has a growth forming a sheath for the first time. It may stay blind, but this is a first, and I am eager to see this orchid bloom because there is a possible naming situation between the flava being a crispata or vice versa. And while the structures of the orchid are marginally different, I need to see the blooms, and then I think I know what is going on and would love to explain that in a future video, of course. <laughs> But, not to be outdone when it comes to something that's happening for the first time, Lelia Briagheri is showing two sheaths. She would not be a first time bloomer if she develops her spikes, but it would be a first to have her in bloom on both her leads so fingers crossed for that and stay tuned. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed seeing these special, special jewels, the color combinations and the details of these ridiculous Lelias. I thoroughly enjoyed having you on the patio and thank you so, so much for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day on the condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.